Hey everyone! As you can see by the title, and hopefully as you can see by the state of my room, it is absolute chaos in here, but spoiler, this is the donate pile. Everything, everywhere that you probably can't even see because I'm blocking it and it's all on the floor over here is the donate pile. I still have to bag everything up and take it to donate. I've got clothes, I've got shoes, I've got suitcases, I've got hair tools, sunglasses, you name it, I found it in this closet. I will show you some of my treasures during the process. But guys, this is just something that does not come naturally to me on any level. I feel like there are people that are gifted and talented in this area of life. It comes very naturally, but me, I'm just missing that part of my brain. God did not give that to me. It's okay. I forced myself to do it. I have many reasons. Mainly, it was just absolute chaos. It was like an apocalypse closet. I could not see the floor any longer. And it really got to me. I just get attached to things and I needed to work through that mentally. I needed to do it on my own. If you've been with my channel a while, you know, I cleaned out this closet like a couple years ago-ish and I had help with it. And somehow a lot of the stuff that I got rid of this time didn't get gotten rid of at that point. I don't know, somehow it slipped through the cracks, but I was tougher this time. I was tougher, I got mean. And also there's that little thing later this year, I'm gonna be moving and I'm gonna be moving in with Grant. So I'm gonna be sharing my space and I'm gonna have to move. So it's like, you know, you don't wanna move a bunch of stuff that you don't need or want that silly, that's stupid. So doing my best not to do that. I need to go through like all of my house, but my closet was an urgent issue basically. And I'd been ignoring it. I'd been attending to all the other things in my life, but basically this, this little issue, it became like an on fire issue for me. And it took me so long. Honestly, I looked at it and I was like, oh yeah, I can do that in like a day or two. No, it took me days and days and days. I've been working on this for so long. You'll see me in several different outfits several different stages. I've even got my hair done since I started this video. I've changed. This video has changed me as a person. Basically, this decluttering clean with me type video is coming from the perspective of someone that it doesn't come naturally to. So hopefully some of you guys out there get that. You get my personality. Maybe you're the same way and you need a little motivation to clean out something that's really overwhelming. Or maybe you're in the process of doing it right now and you just need something on in the background. Cause like I, I cannot just silently clean. Is there anything worse in this world? I can't think of one. Anyway, this video is going to be a mess. My closet was a mess. I'm a mess. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Let's look at it. All right, hold on to your life because you're about to see the before closet. It is so embarrassing. There is just stuff everywhere. Nothing makes sense. It's absolute chaos, madness. There is stuff stacked on that shelf under the top row of clothes. It, there was stuff everywhere you looked. There was not an inch of space and there was no organization whatsoever. And it was just packed with stuff that I didn't want anymore. And it was hard to find what I needed. Look at these bags. That is horrible. I deserve to have no bags when I'm storing them like that. Like I genuinely feel that way. And that is one of the big reasons why I attacked this project with such gusto, with gazelle-like focus. <laughs> so here I am getting started on the process, slowly but surely. I decided to attack the shoes and the bags first because for some reason in my head, I I was thinking that that would be an easy way to dip my toe in. Um, it was not easy. Um, it was really hard. I, I'm showing you some shoes that I've kept since I was like 18 years old. They were red suede with fringe around the ankles and a gold heel and I was obsessed with them. We had good times together and I could not let them go for years and years and years. And even though they were so worn out, I would not wear them. But I'm proud to say, I finally let them go. And actually I just threw them away because they were so worn out. So going through all of these shoes, it was hard. It was hard to let old favorites go like these crazy boots. They're like 10 pounds, but they were literally rusting in my closet. So now I've got a comfy little spot on the floor, digging through a little bin of random things. And I'm actually talking, not talking to myself, which is great. Just out of the frame to the left side, I have Grant on FaceTime. Is this boyfriend abuse 
maybe, I don't know. But it's nice to have emotional support. This could be a tip that you might like if you just have your friend on FaceTime while you're cleaning things out. You can get opinions. You can share your feelings, your thoughts, your emotions. You can vent. You can show them the random crap you have in your closet. It could be fun. You can show them the, the glasses that don't look good on you at all on any level. Some trends are just not for me. And that was one of them. All right. It's a new day. And plot twist, this is my laundry room. It's also kind of my second closet. It wasn't ever supposed to be this, but it just happened somehow. So clothes get cleaned, they get folded up, and they just stay here. I come and I get clothes out of here, but but usually clothes just come here to die. It's very sad. It's not at all what I want for my life. So I've taken this on as part of the closet clean out because I knew there was a lot of stuff in there that I didn't need because if it's just going in there and staying in there and I don't even know about it, like, do I really need it? Probably not. So I'm going through each item. That is one part of the whole KonMari thing that I did use for this process. Yes, it's, it's another new day. Uh, so I am going through and holding each piece and just really assessing like, is this what I want? Is this who I want to be? Like, does this spark joy? I believe in that. I'm into that. So I'm going through each thing, touching everything, holding everything, refolding it. And I really do think that helps a lot. All right, now I'm bringing all of the stuff from the laundry room and I'm also bringing a ton of stuff from out of my closet and I'm stacking it on my bed. Yet again, I'm trying to incorporate a little bit of the KonMari method. I very quickly learned that this technique just does not apply in my life. I put as much stuff on my bed as possible, but I ran out of space and I just had to start going through things. And I was working with three basic rules as I was going through my clothes. Number one, if it doesn't fit, it's gotta go. Number two, if it's worn out, pilling, molting, whatever, it's gotta go. And number three, if I haven't worn it in a year, it's gotta go. This is a rule that was kind of loosey goosey for me, especially at the end. I did end up keeping some stuff that I hadn't worn in a long time, but through this process, I discovered a lot of stuff that I didn't even realize I had. And even though I bent the rules at times, it was really nice to have those boundaries set for myself before I even started because yeah, this is not my talent, like I said before. So from here on, I decided to ditch the KonMari method of bringing everything out of the closet. And I was just working in the closet because that's just what made sense to me. I can't get rid of these. <laughs> I'm gonna keep them, don't tell. Uh, I like it, but I don't love it. And I don't wear it very much. This is gonna be such a difficult section for me to go through. Ooh, I haven't worn this one in a long time. Keeping it. Okay, this one's going. I like everything about it, but the way that this little neckline lays, it's just, it's just like totally wonky. Ooh, keeping, it has stars. Oh, this is a really cute, just casual red dress. I got it from Target. It's just a little shirt dress. I like it because it's red but I feel like I could do better in life. Keeper, keeper. This one, okay, strange story. I bought it before the road trip that we took and I bought it because in my crazy mind, I thought maybe there's a small chance that Grant and I could get married in Vegas. This was not something that we talked about or anything like that. I just am crazy. And so I was like, oh, I wanna have a white dress. <laughs> I know, I'm nuts, but I love this dress. I think it's so cute. And I don't know, maybe I should wear this for like engagement pictures, something like that. I'm probably gonna sweat a lot, but it's really cute. You guys know I'm keeping this. Okay, here's another thing that absolutely has to go. I think it shrunk in the wash and it's like this short now. It's like uncomfortably short. Oh, I still totally like this. Um, I kind of ripped it. Oh look at this dress. I got it on sale. I think I need to think about it. <laughs> mm, no, I'm struggling over here. This section is very difficult for me to go through. One. Ooh, love this dress. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Definitely keeping. So cute. Ooh, keeping gingham jumpsuit. I will love you forever. Ooh, my star dress. Da -da 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 -da. 
Oh! Y'all, do you remember this dress? I actually wore this to my college graduation. Can you say extra? What was I thinking? This dress! <gasps> the cat dress. Okay, so now that you've seen a lot of the process, I'm gonna take you into the closet and you're gonna see the after. The after makes me so, so happy. There's still some areas that need some work. That's okay with me. It has come a long way and I'm excited for you to see it. So let's check it out. You can see the floor. So this is a massive improvement, but a quick glance over, you can see things have changed. Things have changed a lot in here. So first up for the dress section, I didn't do any organization from long to short or short to long, but I did do some color coding, which is honestly not really me and mostly for the video. It probably won't stay like this, but I am enjoying the way it looks. Down here underneath, I do have this old vintage suitcase that I got a million years ago and I refuse to let go of. It has a bunch of like old journals in it. I I'm still kind of a hoarder, whatever. And then all this stuff over here, I need to find a better spot for it, but right now it lives here. Here I have my semi-ridiculous collection of sunglasses, a bunch that I don't wear, but I cannot let go of. Could definitely find a better container for it. Right now it's just in a cardboard box. I also have a bunch of headbands and some, you know, really, really essential bunny ears. And then over here, I have a lot of like little cosmetic bags and things like that for travel and some scarves and more sunglasses of course like I said this is not a perfect situation but it is much improved up here I have a few hats and over here I have all of my tops so I did the color coding thing up here with short sleeve more summer spring warm weather stuff and down here I did whites and stripes and blacks could I have more black tops? And a lot of these are just t-shirts. I am a t-shirt girl. I love t-shirts. I feel most comfortable in t-shirts and apparently the black t-shirts, this is what I really like. This is who I am. Uh, and then up here I have my long sleeve stuff. It's not all cold weather, but I put longer sleeve stuff together here. It's less color coded because I don't have as much. And then in this section, I have all my like hang up bottoms, skirts, some pairs of pants like these. Absolutely love those. Absolutely love these. Uh, and then I have other hang up pants down here. And then this section, well, this is another section. I actually probably need advice from you guys. These are all jeans, long jeans and shorts. And there's actually some other kinds of shorts here too. I did do the little stand up KonMari folding method. Uh, I know she does that for drawers, but I tried it for here so I could just see everything. This is, this is not ideal. I'm not really sure if it's gonna stay like this. It probably won't. This doesn't really seem sustainable, but I guess we'll see. Right here we have shorts of all colors. These are my 80s mom shorts. And then up here we have a bunch of jeans. Moving on to this section over here, I have all of my handbags and clutches and little backpack purses, all kinds of stuff like that. I even have a little stash of other bags. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have shown you this corner. Let's just, let's just not look at that. <laughs> and then down here I have a bunch of shoes. I kind of grouped them by color, but not really. But just Generally, all of these down here are more casual, everyday kind of sandals. And then I have some tennis shoes that snuck in over there. And then up here, this whole shelf of shoes, they're all black. They're all black and they're all mostly heels. There's no real rhyme or reason as far as season or occasion or anything like that. I just did all of the black ones on this shelf. 
Up here, I also have some black ones. More importantly, I also have a portrait of Franny and Luna. This is my dog, in case you've never met her, and this is my parents' dog, Franny. They are painted by an amazing artist. I will link her down below. Anyway, back to the shoes. I have a bunch of heels, a bunch of my corkies, and these are not really, really color-coded or organized in any certain specific way. To be honest, a lot of these shoes, I don't get down that much, especially shoes like this or this. I actually never use these shoes, but I just like the way they look. I'm not gonna get rid of them, whatever. This shelving unit here could probably be used a little bit better, but I just put shoes in almost haphazardly. I think by the time I got to this section, I was getting kind of tired, uh, but these are just like everyday workout shoes. I like that they're accessible here. Uh, down here, I have a bin with like really lightweight sandals and some flip-flops. And then here I have scarves and I have my berets and my little earmuffs that I never use because I live in Houston, Texas. I also have some umbrellas. Now over here on this rack, I have all of my sweaters and my sweatshirts and my pullovers. I really don't have a lot of cold weather stuff, so it was hard to do real color coding, but I did try and I do think it looks good. I was actually really surprised by how much I wanted to color code things and I was really inspired by how much I liked how the dress section turned out because really color coding it's not a me thing to do I mean it's not even anything crazy but I just love it so up here I have all of my jackets and coats and winter things I probably kept too many but I did get rid of some mostly I'm looking at these two over here I mean do I really need like two middle of the road brown faux fur coats? Probably not. But I kept them and honestly, I don't really have an excuse. Side thing, I don't think I've ever showed you guys this jacket and I love it so much. I also have to tell on myself a little bit, I did keep things like the dress I wore to my college graduation, even though I'm probably never gonna wear this again. Another thing I kept that probably someone that is really great at organizing wouldn't have is this. This is my prom dress. Believe it or not, yes, this is what I wore to my prom. It kind of looked like a black trash bag. <laughs> But I absolutely loved it and for some reason I can't bring myself to get rid of it. <laughs> Alright guys, that's everything. Obviously, I've got my work cut out for me. I've got to bag it all up and go donate it. I'm so excited for this final piece of the process. And like I said, actually I don't know if I said this, I need to clean out my whole house. I did my bathroom, that's on my vlog channel. Uh, I need to do my makeup room. I'm scared to do my makeup room, <laughs> but if you guys really want to see that, I can try to put something together. We could do it together. Let me know what you think down below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I'd love to have you back if you're already subscribed. Thank you so much. You are my people and I love you. You can find me on social media. I love talking to you guys. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. Here's Look at this crazy ass necklace. How come you don't wear that? It has feathers and stuff on it. Yeah. That's insane. I'm getting rid of this. I can't believe you do that. Grant. Aren't I glad what? Stop doing drugs.